UiPath here on day two of Oracle Open World. Uh, you followed us on day one. We had some fantastic an announcements. One with this Vikas Arnon from Oracle talking about the UiPath connector. And have a chance now to talk with Eduardo. And we're going to talk about some use cases and actually show what this is. So exactly nice right. to have you. Yeah, thanks so much for inviting me and giving me the time to you know, talk a little bit more about and go in the next level of Fantastic. iteration. Fantastic. So let's talk about use cases first. Yeah, on, absolutely. On where this is actually going to be used and, and what customers would, would think about using it for. Exactly. So one of the first things I wanted to do was to you know, plot you know, UI path within the you know, Oracle you know, integration portfolio. So if you look at the screen, you know, we have a couple of like different products that comprise the Oracle Cloud Platform for integration. And whenever we're talking about application integration and then process automation, that's where we see you know, UiPath bringing a lot of value. And that's what you know, Vikas announced yesterday, the creation of a new UiPath RPA adapter so that from Oracle Integration Cloud, we can seamlessly connect to UiPath technology, discover the robots you guys you know, create there, and then be able to dispatch them as part of a larger you know, business process execution. Awesome. I mean, that's 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 big news yeah, for us, absolutely. especially partnering with with Oracle and UiPath is a preferred partner for yeah. for RPA. So absolutely. So this is the first adapter we're doing in the RPA space, and it's the product of great collaboration between the two organizations. Yeah. So we're very happy to to see this coming alive. Good. So I know one of the main areas we we use RPA is basically to allow talking and integrating with legacy applications. Also, I know even we have like modern applications, these applications may be heavily customized, yeah. and that functionality is not available through the regular adapters or APIs, so creating a bot that can go and transact against that I know, application, it's yeah. a great I know, acceleration and help, and then being able to use that for rapid prototyping and some I know, problems when APIs or adapters cannot talk to, to that. But if we just look at you know, two use cases, the primary one is when you have a fully manual you know, process. Imagine you call in you know, a call center, yeah. right? And you want to move your you know, uh, cable t TV service to your new home address. Yep. Probably this person is just logging into multiple systems, right? Wouldn't yeah. it be nice you say you know, share the information once and then this person just you know, Go automatically everything. goes and does exactly. it. Happen. Instead of having to log in into three systems and rekey all that data. Exactly, okay. So that's exactly what we're trying to do with you know, RPA. So we can orchestrate each one of these transactions or automate each one of these processes to connect into the CRM, ERP, and billing system. And then with our orchestration technology, invoke the bots, yep. now via the RPA adapter, which makes it super simple to go and, and perform those this actions. Work. Exactly. So, first case is replacing human work with a you know, uh, bot. Mm -hmm. Second one is you know, when we are you know, talking to a, you know, an application, in many cases we do have adapters on our portfolio, yeah. but then you may need to talk to other applications like a legacy CRM where we don't have an adapter. So, so far, when we don't have an adapter, typically we were asking a person to do it. Yeah. But now with the you know, UiPath RPA adapter, now we can construct a bot and then execute that transaction via the bot. Now so, being able to fully automate that process into it. So when thinking about Oracle you know, Integration Cloud customers, right? How many of our how many of these customers are going to be excited about because they have legacy, you know, old legacy systems? Yeah. So. In the context of the integration community uh, at Oracle, I know they are very used to using our adapters. Yep. Oftentimes they found like you know, those adapters weren't covering the whole universe of their heterogeneous ecosystem of applications they yeah. need to talk to. So now they're going to have another tool in the toolbox, right? Yeah, exactly. Something they didn't have before yep. that was making it super hard to you know, better streamline those end-to-end -end processes end-to-end. -end. Awesome. So again, awesome. this is a fantastic advance advancement in, an, in our portfolio. So I know with these and the two use cases laid out, I wanted to jump into a quick demo. Let's do a demo. So That'd be fantastic. So we can see you know, how, how things you know, will be yeah. you know, going in action. All right, what you're seeing on the screen is an you know, Oracle Integration Cloud. So I'm going to show you how we can create a connection to a UiPath orchestrator. So I know we're going to be just creating that connection. You're going to see you know, the UiPath and a logo showing up on the screen, UiPath RPA. Then we're going to be selecting that you know, component. And now we're going to start entering the you know, credentials for you know, the UiPath orchestrator, right? So in this case, you know, we're just labeling this connection to yep. you know, something you know, meaningful. Then we're going to start configuring that uh, connection. In this case, we're going to need to specify the 
UiPath and our community edition orchestrator per se. Okay. Okay. So it's going right into the orchestrator product. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now I'm just entering the tenant, and when I register, yep. then and it's going to be you know looking that up, and then the user and password that I'm you're going to be using to connect into the you know, UiPath orchestrator. Okay, so all your right? secure credentials. Exactly. So we want to make sure that whenever I connect there, I'm going to be able to see specific robots yep. created for, and for shared with me. Okay. Another so advantage what, of working with us. Exactly. So all that and you know, previously need to be done via APIs. Now we fully and you know, package it and you know, wow. within this and you know, connection component. So now that the you know, connection is done, we're going to be creating an integration. So an integration is going to be the wrapper layer that will allow us to talk to you know, UiPath and you know, bots in specific, right? Okay. So we're going to be picking one of the integration styles. The one we want is an orchestration. And once we have that, we're going to be labeling this you know, create a you know, service ticket because that's the transaction we want to execute via the bot against a you know, uh, mainframe application. So we're going to be creating this. And now you know, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the local REST. We'll be getting the opportunities from you know, EBS, our ERP application. And with that information, then we're going to be able to create the service tickets, right? So all information from whatever platform you're working on. Exactly. It all comes from in. the ERP. So now that our EBS connection to get the um, opportunity is done, then we're going to be looking for that on a specific you know, connection we created before. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to be creating an invoke to that target system. So in case we're going to be you know, creating a, a service ticket, which actually ultimately will invoke the bot yeah. that was implemented in UI. Okay. So we are going through a wizard base. So now when I click on the processes, that dropdown will show me all the bots that have been deployed in the UiPath okay. orchestrator, right? For you. And for your, yes, your security exactly. We're credentials. gonna be picking up the queue, Done. which is where we're gonna be sending information in and out and out from the bots. And then we're gonna be specifying an initial set of um, parameters that we're gonna be sending into the bot and we're gonna be getting back from the bot. Okay. Right? So once this wizard is complete, then pretty much we're going to have a new node into our integration flow. Fantastic. And that's all you're going to need to do. You're just, you just need to provide now the input parameters for the bot to yeah. be able to perform that transaction. And this mapping will just help us with you know, that and a simple connectivity, right? And I'll be able to locate the proper you know, username and order numbers. And then and I'll be able to carry on with the, with the, with the bot and the final bot configura configuration. So pretty self-explanatory and also very visual yep. uh, to pull everything together and start working together on the on the UiPath connector. Absolutely. Very nice. So, so from a you know, before and after perspective, right? You know, before you need to know all the UiPath and our REST API. Yeah. You need to have like a lot of knowledge about the protocol in which to involve bots. Yeah. Now with this adapter, all that's wrap up and hidden for you. Nice. So it's as simple as going, defining a connection, then going and picking up the bot, the key you want, and then your and a bot is full and ready to go. Fantastic. Okay. And and again for customers that are currently uh, Oracle Integration Cloud customers, this is available now for them to go in and grab or Absolutely. start working with. So that's one of the other benefits. And once you get Oracle Integration Cloud, you get all the adapters. Yeah. And now and after this announcement, they're gonna find another one for the UiPath RPA. Okay. okay? So they don't need to install anything. It's going to be right there for you guys to use Great. right away. Okay. So once this and our orchestration is and our completed, then and our, we can just and our, deploy it, and then we can start seeing it in, in action. All right. So and our, that and our integration flow using the RPA adapter with and our, simplifying how we can consume those bots is, is done. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be kicking off this and our service ticket request. There's a okay. problem with an order, and now we need to and our, kick off this process so that it's going to be invoke the bot. So that it can be, you know, calling the okay, proper so uh, transaction. So we're going to be clicking on this in a soft service transaction to kick off the service request. We're going to be pulling from a list of an existing customers. Then, and for that customer, we're going to be pulling all uh, the orders. Mm -hmm. So the customer service representative can enter this in a particular gotcha. request. So now the process is and you know, created. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going for an approval step. Right. Okay. Before and you know, that particular transaction is executed, so we're gonna see you know, the particular you know, request coming in. So now that you know, somebody in the customer service representative uh, group you know, completed, then that there automatically okay. triggered the the bot, the bot the robot, who is yeah. coming into the you know, AS400 you know, application, and then via the keystrokes that we can get via UiPath robot, 
is going to be performing this you know, service ticket escalation over a particular you know, uh, warehouse. So once this you know, transaction completes, and this is all happening behind them because the customer service rep is going on to the next ticket, exactly. the next thing while all this is so happening this guy in the background. Punch in that request, forgets about it, and then yep. the bot is going to be you know, completing the gotcha. you know, proper transactions downstream to you know, taking care of it all. Take, take care of that you know, completely. So once the bot you know, completes, then you know, we can you know, move on to. They're to moving the on and it just continues on. Exactly. Fantastic. So, so just to you know, summarize, you know, we have the UiPath RPA adapter that yep. greatly simplifies the connectivity with UiPath. This is our first RPA adapter, so UiPath you know, has that you know, uh, wedge. Then you know, it's going to be an adapter that is free to use by any Oracle integration cloud and our customers. Perfect. And then from a value proposition, now we have a new tool in the tool set that will allow us to do broader integration besides what we had with you know, adapters and APIs before. Well, thank you, Eduardo. This is very educational yep. for me. I think very educational for uh, our viewers. And again, the other thing that I want to mention is that the Go Marketplace, you can also go to UiPath Go and get the connector there also, right? Yeah, so exactly. another so all, place to go and see all the All the documentation and information on how to use this adapter, it's also published on the UiPath Go Marketplace. So feel free nice. to visit that and uh, you, you're going to find everything you need. Great. Even inquiries if you want to reach out to us as well. Fantastic. Well, thanks a lot and you know, remember to follow us on Twitter. We'll have more interviews and more information about Oracle Open World.